My name is Teresa Burton and I'm delighted to present an instrument video about part of my recorder collection for Hipster for their online instrument exhibition. So these are my instruments, a mixture of uh, Renaissance instruments, instruments used for playing 17th century music and also high Baroque music. I'll start with my Ganassi soprano in C. So this instrument is in 415 and has two interchangeable bores. One in 440 and one in 415. This is the other ball. This instrument is made by Peter van der Poel, um, who lives in the Utrecht region of the Netherlands. I purchased this instrument in 1998 whilst studying at Utrecht Conservatorium. You will notice that with these Ganassi instruments that there is a straight and a flared wide bore and this is what gives it its uh, resonant and fluty sound. So the Ganassi instruments are based on a 16th century concept of an instrument. In the uh, 16th century, early 16th century, Ganassi wrote a book entitled La Fontegara, essentially a 16th century book about recorder playing, ornamentation and with recorder fingerings for an instrument of about two and a half octaves. A recorder builder in the late 70s, Bob Marvin, he discovered a 16th century recorder in the Vienna Museum. This instrument had the same fingerings at, that were described in Ganassi's La Fontegara. Bob Marvin went about to reconstruct his own copy of this instrument, which was extremely successful. Bob Marvin's copy was then used as a basis by subsequent uh, instrument builders for their own Ganassi recorders. So this is my G Alto, also with two interchangeable bores. These are extremely practical um, to have for not only playing 17th century and uh, music and earlier, but also for playing modern and contemporary music as well. So this Ganassi G Alto is built by Jacqueline Sorel, who's based in The Hague in the Netherlands. So Jacqueline also will make a 415 bore for G her G Altos on request. Brings me on to another Renaissance instrument. This is my Renaissance tenor in C. This is built by Francesco Livirgi, who's based in Rome in Italy, and this is built after Rafi, after an, an instrument built of the 16th century named Rafi. 
this is made, is a part of a consort um, essentially and Francesco makes other consort instruments after Rafi in 440 and to my knowledge also in 466. This particular tenor is very popular with professional recorder players for not only consort playing but as a solo instrument as well. And this is like the Ganassis, also constructed in maple. Brings me on to the other instrument I have from Francesco Lee Virgi. This is an instrument of the high baroque. This is a voice flute that Francesco um, makes after Bresson. So Bresson is a recorder builder from the mid 18th century, renowned for the quality of his instruments. And Bresson's voice flute is particularly known for its low, warm and fruity low notes. voice flute it was thought that this uh, recorder emulated the human voice which lends itself to the name it also is suitable for playing repertoire from the transverse flute and the violin repertoire so bringing me on to the last of the recorders in my video today this is my baroque f alto this is built by Peter van der Poel from Utrecht and uh, this is an instrument after Stainsby Junior, the Stainsby family in the 18th century, again very well known for their quality of their instruments and Stainsby Junior's alto recorder is particularly supple and reliable in its playing from low to high in the range. Peter van der Poel offers this instrument in both 440 and 415, and this is the 415. enjoy today's instrument video and until the next time I'll hopefully catch some of you at some of hipsters events and in the case of nowadays stay safe stay happy and stay inspired